have a word from the Lord, and he's a bit disturbed. Uh, this message is for a multitude. This message, uh, you'll know that it's for you. You take it to God in prayer. But, yeah, the Lord is disturbed this morning. He showed me a vision. And the vision, I mean, not too long ago while I'm driving. He showed me a vision that he's just walking through. And he's looking around. He's looking around at his body. He's looking around at everybody. He's looking around at his church. He's looking around at his his so-called believers. He's this is for who this is for. So-called believers. He's looking but he's looking at his Christians. He's walking through. And I want you to understand this in the spirit, but just going to hit your soul who this is for. As he's walking through, he's just looking and scanning. Because what he's doing as he's walking through, he's flipping over the changing tables. He's flipping over the changing tables because whoever this is for, he said you used to be a house of prayer. You used to worship and honor God. You used to not being a break. You stood for who he was. You carried the glory of God on your life. You, you honored the word in your life, not by lip service. You lived a life of prayer. You, you were walking in deliverance. And after you got blessed, after the Lord brought resurrection power, after you got what you wanted, after you, whatever the, whoever this is for, you began to backslide. You began to go backwards, slowly but surely. And you made your temple, instead of, it, instead of it being a temple of prayer, you've allowed dens of thieves to come in. And so he's warning you. This is a warning. And it's a blessing for who, who, who understand this. Whatever God blessed you with, and then you forgot about him, you got lax, you got slack, you start going backwards slowly but surely, whatever, he, you know, it's like when we get what we want from God, then we forget about God. We, you know, we put him on a back burner. We get into a comfort zone. And, oh, I'll get to prayer. Oh, I'll get to my word. I'll get to this. But God can remember a time when you were crying out for him. God can remember when you couldn't get it's to two nobody. Miles. Take exit 48B on the left to merge onto I-10 West when you toward San Antonio. When you couldn't get to nobody but God. And... You stayed on your knees. You stayed in communion. You stayed in transition. You stayed in shifting. But now, with old behaviors begin to come back. This is who, I, who God is speaking about. And he say, your temple. Mm -hmm. If he delivered you from whatever it was he delivered you from, and you vowed, Lord, I ain't never going back to that. But guess where you are now? Back to the same thing you told God you wouldn't go back to. You back dealing with the same people God delivered you from. You back with the same mindset God delivered you from. You back doing the same things. The same things that the Lord pulled you out of. It's, it's so, it, it amazes me how we can forget when our back is against the wall and no one is there but God, right? And then when we don't need him, we put him on the shelf. And God is looking. <laughs> he's, oh, he's being a great spectator this morning. Because you may not, this time, this is a warning. He's flipping over the changing tables. And he said the changing tables are representing distractions. He's giving you a warning about them old people. He told you to stay away from old habits, whether it's drugs, alcohol, because this time, how you know you're going to come out of that? This time, your life, your life may depend on this. If, he, if he's given me this message to deliver, this is a great warning for whoever this is for. Because God love you. And see, when we get what we got, whether it's a new wife, new husband, or new Use job. Use the left two lanes to take exit 48B on the left to merge onto I-10 West new, toward San Antonio. Whatever it is. And then you get comfortable. And you get lack. And you forget 
all that turmoil and you was crying in silence. And when everybody left you and then God was right there, he built you up. And then we go back because we forget. Mm -hmm. Exit left. God is flipping over the changing tables. He's getting ready to disrupt something in your life because he's trying to save your life. He's trying to save you. God is no one to play with. Okay? And when we do what we want to do... For 23 see, miles, continue straight. We think we belong to ourselves. God is getting ready to do a divine intervention in, in, in a few lives. Because he's not going to be mocked. <laughs> he's very careful. Be very careful about how you play with your life. Be very careful about your steps. Be very careful about the things he have delivered you from. Who this message is for, I pray you, you repent. And you return back to the house of prayer. Because the thing is, you don't see what he knows that's coming at you. You are not under protection at this moment. You think you are, but you're not. Whoever this is for. And Satan has asked him to raise a hedge on you. Uh, I hope you are hearing this message because whoever this is for, you backslidden. After you got blessed, you dealing with whatever you dealing with and you know is out of the order of God. Satan acts to sift you like we. And God is allowing it. So you better repent. I mean, you better get back to where you need to be because soon you getting ready to see your life unravel. And it's only by your choices and your decisions because you walked away from God once you got comfortable, once you got blessed, okay? This is who this is for. I love you all so much. I've been where you are, years of torment and just stupid decisions and things that didn't even make sense. And don't, why would you want to go back dealing with old behaviors, old mindset, things that, I mean, after you get blessed and then you get so comfortable, that's a setup from the enemy. And then we don't think, oh, I'll get to God. I'll pray when I pray. I'll read my word when I, when you was in your word so deep, I mean, you was moving mountains and now you can't move nothing. Because you done got back to drinking, you done got back to drugging, you done got back to old behaviors, you done got back into lust, you done got back into gossiping, you done got back, come on now, really now, that's not, that is a set up from the enemy and all Satan is doing is telling God, look at your people, I told you I can get them back. I told you they wasn't gonna serve you long. I told you I'd have them, I'd have them serving me again. That's what he's saying. And guess what? A multitude of you are proving him right. Sisters and brothers, it's nothing out here but a bunch of garbage. I, the, the grass may look greener, but it's a setup. Trust me. All that glitters is not gold. If you dealing with, if you married and you in adultery, and you, you, I mean, I, whoever, I mean, God is speaking this morning. And I pray you are understanding the warning that he is releasing. He is flipping over the changing tables. And only you know what those tables are in your life, who this message is for. We are in September. There's a lot of transitioning and birthing that's being released in this month and Satan knows it and he is pulling and he is setting up God's people to fail. I'm telling you, what's, <laughs> trust me on what I'm saying. And when you're not praying, 
That's all he need. He know how to bring distractions. He know how to bring all them old people, them old foes that can like friends. He know how to bring people that behaviors that you've been delivered from around you to all of a sudden they want to come chill and they want to come visit. Y'all better hear me. And then they smoking and drinking and you know you ain't been doing this in a while. Or somebody you know you used to like and they full of lust and God done delivered you from this. Okay, I am telling you. He is getting ready to set you up because he's showing God he can get you back. Repent, come back to the Father. Again, God is flipping over the changing tables in your life. He is trying to get your attention and you know whoever this is for because he's unctioning you and you constantly put him on the back burner. Come back to the Father. This world system is designed to kill you, steal from you, and destroy you. And it's not going to be in that order. God bless you, kings and queens. I really do love you. Live a purpose-driven life. Don't be duped and seduced by the things of this world. Because it set you up to fall in the pit of hell. And once you fall in it, how you going to get out? That's when you're going to cry out to God. When God is trying to get your attention now. Remember, we see limited. God see everything that's coming at you. You can be under his protection or you can be under your own. Choose wisely. God bless you. You have a wonderful day, but please heed to the voice of Holy Spirit. This is not a game and this is not a joke. Live. Can these dry bones live? Ask yourself that. Have a wonderful morning.